Hey guys, what's going on? It's Confused OJ, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a green screen in Sony Vegas Pro. So, for this tutorial, we're going to be using Vegas Pro 10. However, I'm 100% sure the same method will work for newer and older versions of Vegas Pro. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, right here, I already have my uh, videos in my library here imported. And for the actual example video we're going to be using uh, is this motivational speech with this guy and, uh, and a green screen in the background and we're going to be overlaying him over a black ops clip so first off what you want to do is go ahead and put your green screen video into the uh, timeline and add a second video track so yeah and so you can just move up your your uh, green screen video up one so now there's a space in between where you can add your video that you want to have this this uh, particular person or whatever it is inside of so next we're gonna want to get our second clip in and right there you can uh, go ahead and remove whatever you want don't want in it and for me I'm not gonna want audio for this clip so I'm just gonna go ahead and press U and delete the audio from it and now we can move it in here and so as you can see right now if we were to play it from the beginning all it would show is uh, the actual green screen video since it's on top and we haven't done anything to it so there's a few ways you can go about removing the green background and I'm going to show you the most easiest and efficient way so what you want to do first is uh, click on any anywhere where you can see the green screen in the background and then go up here on this little floppy disk icon click on that to save a snapshot and then click save and so what it did now is took a screenshot of your window over here and saved it to your library so now you can put it over here and I'll explain why I did this uh, once you have this over here on your timeline go ahead and set your your cruiser here onto this actual photo and now we get, what you can do is add your chroma key here now so what the chroma keyer is, is it removes a certain color from the actual video. So once you click on once you click on video effects right here on your green screen video, go ahead and click on Sona, Sony chroma key, keyer right here. And so like I said before, it's going to let you move around the color and uh, whichever color you decide on, it will remove all of it from the actual video. So as you can see right now, we can just go through trial and error and try to get it right. However, it's not going to work out very well. So what you could do now is since you have your cruiser on the actual snapshot and it's not being affected by the chroma here, you can go ahead and click on this eyedropper tool over here and just simply click on the background. And now it's selected it over here. You can just click X. We won't need the screenshot in particular anymore. And now it's selected the color for your video and well it's worked now it removed the green from the background and he looks a bit uh, translucent so let's go ahead and uh, touch him up a little bit so <laughs> that sounded so wrong uh, these low threshold and high thresholds are really what's gonna govern how dark he looks and how realistic he looks so usually you're not gonna want to have your high threshold all the way up so I'm gonna go ahead and put it down a bit he looks a lot better this way and so there you go. That's it. So let's go ahead and play it. As you can see, <laughs> um, as you can, as you can see, it's, it worked. He's right in front of the video as we wanted him to, and it's got audio in there too. So thanks for watching, and see you later.